Item number SCP-1428 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-1428-1 is currently contained at Area 108 and is housed in a tungsten cage within a 1.5 meter by 2 meters by 1.5 meter incinerator unit. The walls of the unit are constructed in three layers. The innermost layer is composed of fireproof concrete at a thickness of 30 centimeters. The intermediary layer is composed of lead at a thickness of 15 centimeters. And the outermost layer is composed of concrete at a thickness of 10 centimeters. One is to be incinerated three times daily at 12 a.m., 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. at a temperature of 400 degrees centigrade for a period of 30 minutes. Under no circumstances are any personnel to enter the containment chamber or make direct physical contact with one. Repair and replacement of equipment is to be carried out by remote controlled drones. Chamber is equipped with dust meters to detect whether one has entered a passive state. If this occurs, contingency Fusong A is to be implemented. SCP-1428-2 is to remain under surveillance for anomalous activity, and the site is to be enclosed with electrical fencing. Any civilians that approach or attempt to enter the site are to be detained, interrogated, and administered Class A amnestics. Personnel are to report if the object in the statue's third hand moves or regenerates. No fewer than 5D class personnel are to be kept on site and restrained for the purpose of carrying out contingency Fu Song A. Description SCP-4028-1 is a creature that superficially resembles a crow. It is tripedal and does not possess a cloaca. The third leg has been observed to remain tucked up under its body unless it enters an active state. It does not need to eat, sleep, or breathe does not age and suffers no physical adverse effects from prolonged exposure to extremely high temperatures. Note, no limit to this ability has been found. It has been observed to withstand temperatures in axis of 1 million degrees centigrade or radiation. One has never been observed to communicate and its intelligence is unclear. One has three states, inert, passive and active. While inert, it demonstrates no anomalies other than those previously stated. Passive states are marked by gamma radiation at varying intensity. There is no clear consistency in the charge of radiation over time, generally ranging from 5 to 90 watts per square meter, but occasionally reaching levels of 150 watts per square meters. The energy ranges from 1 to 1 1.5 MeV. During an active state, SCP-1428-1 will produce plasma and thermal energy consistent with the solar corona. Coupled with the burst of gamma radiation at an exponentially increased intensity, recorded charges had been as high as 340 Watt per square meter with 20 MeV. While the thermal effects of an active state persist only for an instant and are confined to the immediate vicinity of one, the sheer magnitude of the release invariably results in catastrophic damage. Following the active state, one will begin to emit a roller band consistent with solar radiation. These bands appear to induce a compulsive effect on human observers, causing them to attempt to approach the source of the aurora. Individuals under the influence of this effect are completely unresponsive to external stimuli and will perform no action other than approaching the aurora. The bands persist for approximately one full day after the active state has ended. While one is in a passive state, it will enter active state once every three months, unless exposed to external combustion at an intensity of approximately 400 degrees centigrade or greater, which will cause it to become inert. While physical contact 
with one it is possible. Any attempt to physically harm it, other than incineration, will result in an active state. SCP-4028-2 is a temple or shrine located in the Beep province of China, approximately Beep kilometers north-northwest of the site where SCP-4028-1 was discovered. The site was constructed in approximately Beep BCE and contains religious texts and iconography inconsistent with the region. The most significant of these inconsistencies are a ritualistic form of human immolation and the presence of an entity known as Redacted. This entity is a three-armed humanoid and is featured in numerous designs throughout the site. The majority of these designs depict what appears to be one perched on the entity's shoulder. A 0.5 meters by 1.5 meters by 0.5 meters jade statue of Redacted is located at the approximate center of the site and the entity holds an object in each of its hands, the earth, the sun, and a partially burnt note. Upon discovery, roughly 78% of its flesh was burnt. The current percentage is closer to 69%. Data expunged. This is genuine instead of being constructed of jade and shows no signs of decomposition despite being at least redacted years old. Additionally, while biologically dead, it generates a temperature of 30 degrees centigrade and has been observed to make subtle movements. It will occasionally fixate upon individuals that enter its range of sight and opens its mouth as though trying to speak. Before analyzing several texts discovered from the site and considerable testing, it is confirmed that human immolation in two's vicinity will effectively cause one to skip its next active state. If emulation occurs, the data expunge will begin to gesticulate as though silently laughing, and the burnt tissue on its being will regenerate at a rate proportional to the number of individuals killed by the procedure. Addendum 1428-1 Contingency Fu Song A The intensity of incineration on one is to be increased to 800 degrees centigrade if one does not revert to an inert state within 30 seconds. 1D class personnel housed at 2 will be immolated. Subsequent personnel may be immolated as necessary. Addendum 1428-2 On redacted, the object on the statue's third hand modified its orientation of its own accord and Began to fixate upon the approximate location of Area 108. Its position has not shifted since the incident, and no other anomalies have been reported. Document SCP 1428 A5 Emergency Containment Review Redacted. Begin recording 8 45 a.m. Redacted. This is Dr. Beep Adler deciding over this emergency meeting regarding SCP-1428 on Redacted at 8.45 a.m. We need to amend Fu Song A. What do you mean? I just been meeting with the anthropologist at Site-1428-2. We need to stop burning D-Class. We've been over this, Beep. No, listen to me, Beep. The crow is not a real problem. Seems like a pretty big problem. There is a reason why it hardly responds to anything we do. It's it's effectively on autopilot. Autopilot? As long as we doctor it is dead or asleep or whatever, there's nothing to give it directions. So, if it just flies around and leaks radiation everywhere, and the active states, that's part of the ceremony. The followers of redacted could survive the radiation. Well... This is all terribly interesting, but I'm not sure how that. When you start burning people at a temple, the crow senses it as a similar type of ceremony, so it doesn't enter an active state. But burning people in that place had completely separate consequence. If you let that thing finish regenerating, it will attempt to contact the sun, which is where the crow supposedly came from, and where redacted currently is. 
What would it say? I don't know. The designs were so eroded we could only translate one word from the message. Which is... Breathe. End recording. 8.48 AM. Redacted.